it started with a North Alabama showdown between UNA and Alabama A&M. It's a home game for the Lions. We're going to have Christian Lopez handing it off to Terrace Humphrey, who's going to go in for the touchdown early out there in Braley Stadium. The Lions looking good, up 7-0. Joe Gurley punting for UNA. It's going to go way high in the air. A&M's going to try to get something going, but they fumble it. And it's David Swin swooping it up in Bulldog territory. UNA on the prowl. Lopez to be taken down, though, by Mason Ellis. So the defense starting to get awake out there in Florence. But he's going to get to Ron Thompson on the next drive for another Lion touchdown. They're going to be up 18 and nothing at the half. But the second half is all Alabama A&M. Gunnersville native Jordan Bentley gets in for the touchdown. And they wouldn't stop. A kill glass. He's going to find Anthony Howard for this beautiful diving TD, the final. Bulldogs come back to beat UNA 31 to 24, and UNA has been outscored 76 to 6 in second half the past two weeks. Lauren Cavassini was at this North Alabama Classic. She joins us now from Florence. Lauren. Lyndon, what a crazy ending to this game between UNA and A&M. A&M did not look too great during the first half of this one, but they came out after halftime a completely different team. They were playing aggressive and they just looked more relaxed and they had looked like they were having fun on the sidelines, which ultimately helped them make that 21 point comeback and give them the win over UNA for the first time since 1988. So we just had to come together for one play at a time. And I told him, I said, listen, we can't score 21 points in one drive, but we can score seven this drive. So we got to score seven at a time, and we are, right, the defense is playing great. Let's get a, get a score and get the momentum, and we'll be fine. The guys believed in the ball in and came back and won the football game. You know, down 18-0 coming going into halftime, I halfway expected to come out because people were trash talking us all week. So, I mean, coming out and seeing them still here to support us is a great thing, and I'm proud that they stayed and got to witness greatness tonight. Lions head coach Chris Willis says that his team really needs to work on coming out after halftime and securing the win. I don't know what's happening in the second half. That's two weeks in a row we've had collapse, and uh, last week was – you know, the team didn't do anything any different. They just came out and were able to run their offense, and, and it worked. And we just couldn't get a stop. And this week, it kind of had the same feel. We just could not get a stop. They ran the ball, and we could not get a stop. UNA has another week to make the changes that they need before they head down to Jacksonville State to face the Gamecocks. And, well, for the Bulldogs, this 31-24 win gives them huge momentum heading into Birmingham next week when they face Samford. Reporting in Florence, Lauren Cavazzini, Way 31 Sports.